Okay, frequently asked questions. Rather than send you a long email and have this on the bottom of an email that nobody ever reads, I thought I'd send you a short video and answer this simple question as best as I can at this point in time, which is July 2020. How will you be assessed for the BNTS and the senior A team? It will be a range of methods. I'm not just relying on 01 OC1 single boat work. You'll be assessed against strength and conditioning. I'm not looking at one rep max when you think about it for any particular exercise. What I'm looking at is how you perform over a period. We're talking about functional strength and we're talking about strength and endurance. And I like the idea of testing you continuously for two minutes simply because that is the losing time or was like to be the losing time of the major final 500 meter dragon boat race or probably faster than that. So that's a good aiming point at this point in time. Clearly we don't want to be losing, but we need to be maxing out at two minute efforts. There's lots of other things as well. We, there will be some single boat work, some single boat time trials. Very likely to be some OC2 work as well. Great place or great platform to coach people. I'm not so keen at this point in time on dragon boats, dragon boat pools. One person paddling a 240 kilo dragon boat plus a steerer plus uh, their mates sitting next to them. I don't see the utility in that. I can be convinced otherwise, but at this point in time, I don't see utility. I can see the point of doing some work in pairs in smaller boats, but more about that later on. That may be something we can look at. Certainly some ergo work. I prefer rowing ergos to paddle ergos. More about why I don't like paddling ergos specifically later on. It's about technique and it's about power uptake. Rowing ergo is great. I like the idea of doing the continuous um, 20 exercise times two minutes best effort, a 40 minute total effort. And a lot of the, the, uh, the time trial type efforts we'll be doing will be commensurate with the sort of time it takes you, us, to paddle 200 meters, 500 meters, 1000 meters, and 2000 meters. So when you think about it, we're talking about efforts in the region of way less than a minute, but we'll go to a minute, two minutes, four minutes and eight minutes, roughly speaking, those sort of things, okay? There may be distances, we've done time trials in the past for 500 meters and 1,000 meters, but whatever it is, it will give you the opportunity to max out your uh, chances to get included in the squad. I'm not into one single time trial on one single date. What I'm into is continual assessment using a range of methods over a period so we can get a better look at the completeness or the complete athlete in a variety and a range of scenarios. Okay, that's enough for selection for the time being. It will be as fair as I can make it. I'll explain as much as I can explain. However, there's always questions, there always will. And this is now my eighth national squad.